a very common question is very often asked to me and it was even asked yesterday when the chief minister gave me a welcome dinner in the question answer session that what has happened to the Muslim Ummah today that we are large in number but why is it that we are so weak and if we read history we learn from history that at the time of the Sahabas at the time of Khulfa Rashidin at the time of the Tabain we found that mashallah the Muslims are very strong and we ruled from east to the west from Rome to Persia and Alhamdulillah never did the disbelievers ever at that time played mischief with the Muslims because we were strong and the main reason that we Muslims were strong and if you read this in the books of history books like Al-Kamil by Ibn Qayyum or Al-Nihaya Al-Bidaya wa Al-Nihaya from the beginning to the end by Ibn Qasir we read from these historical books how strong the Muslim were but today the question asked by many Muslims to many people including me that what is the state of the Ummah today and the reply for the strength of the Muslims at the time of the Khulfa Rashidin at the time of the Sahabas was the verse I quoted in the beginning of my talk and Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran Allah says in Surah Imran chapter number 3 Verse number 103, Allah says, Wa tasimu bi hablillahi jamia wa la tafarraku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. Which is the rope of Allah? The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the authentic sayings of a last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Allah says in this verse of the Quran that Hold to the rope of Allah strongly, the glorious Quran, the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the things of the Prophet in the Sahih Hadith and be not divided. Double emphasis that hold strong to the Sunnah and the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be not divided. And the verse continues. Do you not remember the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you were enemies amongst yourself and Allah brought your hearts closer with love? Do you not remember the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he bought you and made you as brethren and you were on the verge, on the brink of hellfire and Allah saved you from the hellfire this verse of the Quran Surah Al-Imran chapter number 3 verse number 103 has the answer to the problems the Muslim Ummah is facing today number one is that the reason that we Muslim Ummah today are in the state that we are though we are large in number is because we have gone away from Quran and the authentic hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Inshallah, if we come back and follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given in the Quran and the Sahih hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Inshallah, like the olden days, the golden days, we Muslims again will be on top of the world. And we find the second guidance given by Allah in this verse, besides holding strongly to the rope of Allah, Quran and Sahih Hadith, 
that we should not be divided. And we have in the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad many examples. And we know when we read the seerah of the Prophet that after the battle of Hunayn, when we got the spoils of war, the beauty, when we got the booty, our beloved Prophet Muhammad since there were many people to be distributed, he gave most of it to the Mu'alla Futu al Qulub. Mu'alla Futu al Qulub. Those whose hearts are coming towards Allah. And we know at that time that there were some who were new Muslims who were on the verge, on the border. And there were chances that they could go again to disbelief. So Allah subhanahu, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he commands to the Prophet Muhammad sallam that give the booty to these people who are on the brink. And the Prophet, as was guided, he distributed the booty more towards the Mu'alla Futu al Qulubuhum. This saddened the Ansar. And many of the Ansar, they spoke among themselves and they said that, is the Prophet not giving the booty to his own tribe? And when the Prophet came to know about this, he did not scold them. He did not fire them, but he waited. And later on, he called the Ansar to a secluded place. And he said that no one besides the Ansar should be in this meeting. He said only the Ansar should be in this meeting. And then he reminded them, that do you not remember that you were gone astray and Allah through me guided you to the true path? And the Ansar said, Allah and the Messenger are the most generous. The Prophet reminded them of three things. Number two, the Prophet said, don't you remember you were in poverty and Allah gave you wealth? And the Ansar said, yes, Allah and his messenger are most generous. Then the Prophet said, don't you remember that you were enemies amongst yourself, always fighting amongst yourself? And Allah through me united you as one brethren. And the Ansar said, yes, Allah and his messenger are most generous. And they weeped. And they asked for forgiveness. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reminded the Ansar on three things and united them. And told them that you had gone astray and Allah guided you through me. You were in poverty, Allah gave you wealth. You were enemies disunited and Allah united you through the deen of Allah. So here we come to know that the unity of the Muslims is the most important. Now, could you please give a clear clarification of who really won the debate and what are the salient points that says that Quran is the words of God? Thank you. The brother asked a question that Sheikh Ahmed Dida, the person who inspired me, debated with Dr. Anis Sorosh many times and last time in Royal Albert Hall. Not last time, the first time Royal Albert Hall, the topic, what is this God? The second time was Quran or the Bible, which is God, were in Birmingham, NEC Stadium. 